Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Russia is preparing a new offensive against Ukraine starting in late May or during the summer. But Kiev has a clear battlefield plan of its own. Speaking a day after the second anniversary of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the Ukrainian president said it was vital for Kiev and its Western allies to remain united. He reiterated that Ukraine's victory depends on continued Western support. Zelensky told reporters, we will prepare for their assault. Their assault that began on October 8th has not brought any results. I believe we, for our part, will prepare our plan and follow it. Of course, quote-unquote, Ukrainian president. He said 31,000 Ukrainian soldiers had been killed since February 2022, giving the first official toll in more than a year. The Russian foreign ministry rejected the Ukrainian figure, called it untrue. The Ukrainian president said troop rotations would be critically important for the war effort and emphasized that Kiev needed to better prepare its reserve forces. Two years into the war, Moscow's troops bear down along the sprawling 960-kilometer front line in Ukraine's east and southern regions. From shortages of artillery shells and the need for longer-range missiles to a lack of fresh troops, problems are piling up for Ukraine. Zelensky said he was confident the U.S. Congress would approve a major new batch of military and financial assistance and that Ukraine needed that decision within a month. He added the U European Union had only supplied 30% of the 1 million ammunition shells that were promised. Russia secured its biggest battlefield gain since May 2023. That happened this month as Russia captured the town of Avdiivka, which Ukrainian troops retreated from to avoid being surrounded. President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, said on Tuesday that Russian troops would push further into Ukraine to build on their success in Avdiivka. On Sunday, Russian Defense Ministry said its forces had taken more advantageous positions near the town. On Ukraine's battlefield intentions, Zelensky says that Kiev had a clear plan to counter Russian forces, but that he would not disclose details that could compromise those plans. Kiev's troops conducted a much-wanted counter-offensive last year, but were unable to pierce Russia's defensive lines. That counter-offensive was deemed a failure. Zelensky said replacing his popular armed forces chief in a dramatic military shakeup this month was part of his military strategy that would remain under wraps. The Ukrainian leader said earlier that Kiev's plans for last year's counter-offensive had ended up on a desk in Kremlin before the operation even began, but did not say how. He said Kiev hopes to hold a summit in Switzerland this spring to discuss its vision for peace with its allies, adding that the peace blueprint would later be presented to Russia.